Hey everybody, it's Jeff from VW Bricks here. I received a LEGO parts order today from LEGO directly. Uh, I ordered this order on April 6th. Um, it was shipped on the 8th. Technically I got the email on the 7th, um, or at least I noticed it was set to ship on the 7th, uh, but the actual shipping email I think came out on the 8th. Uh, and I received it today. Um, it's uh, not a regular bricks and pieces order, it's one of their best seller order. So it's a limited set of parts that you can get. I think there's about a thousand parts available on the system, maybe a little bit more. Um, and obviously parts that people are buying a lot of, um, kind of like an online pick a brick wall. Uh, if you're used to going to stores and getting the pick a brick selection, they're only a lot bigger. Um, so great turnaround time. Decent parts. I mean, I, I this is actually part of an ar a larger order. I ended up ordering, um, well, these parts, uh, which is about 170 parts, and then I ordered another batch of parts, which is probably another 100 or more, um, and that's coming from Denmark. And the regular bricks and pieces thing, so that's uh, currently about 35 to 40 days turnaround time. Um, so why don't we open the box and see what it is? Uh, I just realized I didn't blank out my address, so I'm just gonna keep my hand right about here and try not to cut my fingers off um, and there is some paperwork in the front top so I will take that off or take that out um, I guess I could have just blurred that part of the screen but that's like extra work so and I didn't cut myself yay all right Luckily the paper is upside down, so I'll just set that aside. Uh, and I got a box of paper. Now, uh, I placed this order on the 6th, which is during the time that there was a LEGO promo uh, happening for the Easter set. Uh, and Bricks and Pieces now qualifies for that as well. Uh, so the reason why this box is so big is because I got the, um, the Easter Chicks set as well. Um, 40527, 318 pieces. It's a cute little set. Um, so yeah. Always, why not? When you get a freebie, considering it's probably what a twenty-dollar freebie, seventeen twenty-dollar freebie. Anyway, we'll take this paper out. It's really loud. Oh, see, there's another paper in here, and there's a couple of bags. So I'm gonna pull these bags out. Maybe use that box for something else later. Uh, Lego bags, they are not Ziplocs, they are vacuum sealed bags, which is interesting. Um, and they have parts in them, so we'll start with this one first. Um, and we're going to see how this works. Uh, white desktop, which is something new, my other desktops are black. Uh, so I got this table with the idea that making videos might be a little easier. Um, I can also, and maybe we'll try it out with this too, I also have these yellow trays. So we'll see what works best. This is kind of a test run as well. Um, so, let's see what we got. I'll dump it in here just to keep everything together. Oh, well these are all the same part, just in different colors. So, I got, and I'm looking at my other screen for the quantities, in white, I got 20 of the 1x3, or, you know, 1x3 double jumpers. Double because it's got two studs on it. I also purchased 20 of the light gray ones, uh, or sorry, <laughs> that's tan, I'm looking at the screen, uh, 20 of the tan ones. Uh, these are all nine cents a piece. That's the other thing that with the, um, with Bricks and Pieces newest, um, newest uh, way they have it set up, the same, all the pieces of the same type cost the same amount. It used to be that they fluctuated a few cents here and there, um, probably because colors can be more expensive to make because there's more color required maybe I don't know but they've uh, standardized it so basically all this piece in any color if it's available on bricks and pieces the best orders or the regular site uh, they cost nine cents which is great uh, and then I got 70 of the gray ones um, now these are uh, for my dark red um, townhome uh, my dark red um, I'm trying to think of the name um, the New York style houses I can't remember what the name is but it'll pop up on the screen right now because editing and I'll even put the picture up there um, anyways I bought some to go behind the window sills on that on that building uh, brownstones see or I'll just remember it after a while uh, my dark red brownstone which kind of sounds weird because brownstone but dark red um, and uh, I always it's a one by five lintel and 
in tile and it's got two jumpers up behind it two single jumpers behind it on a one by four and i always found it kind of awkward so i'm hoping this might make it better because the uh, two by three sorry one by two plate on one side and one by three plate on the other side will hopefully sit better because they're they're butted up against each other so they won't wiggle as much anyway so that was that one. Oh look it's like it's like magic it's just the, the tray disappears another one appears um harbor freight by the way for any americans that have harbor freights these are like dirt cheap less than five dollars a container i was able to get two at the store when i went because that's all they had uh i am planning to go to chicago brick world uh and i will be stopping at a harbor freight on the way because i want another couple of these um for my bricklink area for my uh my store because these are great for dumping parts into and pulling parts out all right let's see what's in bag two uh this has um three different parts in it well sorry not three different parts yeah three different parts but two di two unique parts and two in the same color or two in different colors um wait i was expecting something to be light gray but that was in the other bag uh so this is just their new one by five plates in tan well in white we'll start with that because that'll pop up on the screen now uh these were nine cents a piece uh, nope, these are 28 cents a piece. Wow, these are still expensive. Newer parts um, tend to have a higher price, is what it seems to be. That eventually this price will drop, but Lego's trying to get as much money out of the out of us as they can for designing these new parts. These were new as of this year, in a few different colors, um, and white is one of the newer ones. So the white one was actually 71. Nope, Bricklink's 71 cents, 28 cents. Uh, 20 of those, and I got 20 of the tan. Uh, I didn't buy these for any purpose necessarily. I basically bought these to fill in the, that spot in my collection uh, because I'm leaving the spot in all the bins now for 1x5s between the 1x4s and 1x6s. So I got those, and the last part I got was 20 of these white brackets. Um, the inverted, well, not, yeah, well, these are the original style. They're not inverted. They would be regular bracket the ones that go up are considered inverted uh, i got 20 of these again trying to fill the spots in my collection um but i mean i have ordered these in other colors for other purposes so um so it's a pretty small order uh in total this order cost me i'm just looking at the prices here trying to figure out what this math is on this particular cell because it doesn't look right Oh, that's because it includes something else. Uh, in total, this odd, this no, all these calculations are off. Um, I changed it to be 298 and like sell 298 in my spreadsheet, and it took it as, and I accidentally removed the three, so it looks like it says 32.98. Okay. Anyways, um, control copy. Let me just fix this in my spreadsheet. You know, high production quality in these videos after all. And I'm not going to delete this out because, hey, why not? It's fine. Um, shift insert. Okay, so this order, according to my spreadsheet, cost me $22.30. Uh, when I look at the Bricklink prices of these parts, uh, which will have appeared on the screen as we go, um, this would have cost me the same order on Bricklink because they're newer parts. They're all still quite expensive. Would have cost me $65. So ordering some parts I didn't necessarily need one of them I did need but I was trying to fill in the order um, and I'll talk about that in a second um, saved me $43 basically if I had ordered these on Bricklink in this exact order I would have paid $43 more um, so the one thing I was going to say is that Bricks and Pieces has um, Bricks and Pieces has a minimum order and actually you know what since I'm in here let me just open up a window and we'll go to Lego and I'll go to bricks and pieces and I'm not sharing this yet I know because I need to slide some things over so I'm just gonna go like this and I'm gonna go second screen let's see what this gives me that is exactly what I wanted I'll hide my build cam and I'll make this bigger uh, there's a VIP um, dealio this week on uh, hats on the reward center there we go that works okay um so yeah on bricks and pieces when you're making an order now um there is i'm in canada just want to make sure that replacement parts buy bricks 
Uh, like I said, there was bestsellers, and there's also the idea of the standard uh, items. So bestsellers take about five days shipping from Illinois. So it was about six days for me, but I'm in Canada, so that gives it a date across the border. There's a service fee of $3.50 um, for that. Now, as I say that, it says ENUS. Let me just change this to the Canada, make sure it's not different. Uh... Oh, well, that totally disappeared there. Uh, view pieces. Let's just pull up this because this shows this as well. Um, so it's actually four fifty Canadian for the bestseller parts. Um, four fifty Canadian. Uh, so and as you can see here, we have a bunch of bestsellers, um, which again, these are things the parts that are located in the United States, so they can ship a lot quicker. The other parts, which are the uh, the regular items, are not bestsellers, and I'm just trying to find one of these. Um, let me just change a category and just change it to uh, something that I know won't be bestsellers. Go animals. So there are a bunch of bestsellers in the animals category. Let's go down a few pages. Here we go. So we have an owl here that's two dollars and three cents. So it's not a bestseller. Uh, so I added it to my list. And now, if I view the pieces, we can see there's two fees. So four fifty is the fee for bestsellers, and nine dollars is the fee for the standard um shipping which is the the bricks and pieces from from europe um so basically what happens is once you hit an 18 dollar price point so for example this engine piece this piece that i've put in my cart here that's a bestseller uh, and they can, there's two tabs at the top if i change this quantity to 20 we see that this fee is now waived 450 and my order total because these are 22 dollars uh, it's over 18 so it waves that. If I go to this other piece and this owl is two dollars so I'll just say 10 of these because that's twenty dollars and now we can see that that fee got waived as well. Um, so if you're over 18 dollars on whatever you're ordering then you get you don't have to pay these service fees which are just like a shipping charge technically or a filling charge. Um, so that's why I padded my order. I ordered you know if I ordered those 70 pieces but then I put some other parts on just so I could um, just so I can pad my order and, and get above that, that service fee. Yes, I spent more money, but I got more Lego out of it, so why not, right? Uh, and also, now that it's 4310, if I put that in my shopping cart, I, I'm actually not going to charge shipping as well because uh, it applies to the $35 free shipping that Lego has. So, um, so yeah, it's it's actually not a bad deal. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. They've altered the prices a bit. There's some items, new items aren't available on site yet, but you know, over time they'll be added in. Um, and I can understand you don't want them to have, they don't want to have the newest pieces on the website right away because if they did that, well, it's proven. If they do that, then people buy a bunch of the, the parts and don't necessarily buy the set. Uh, whereas, you know, we want the parts as soon as possible. So if I want the parts, I'm going to buy the set is the new thinking. So, but uh, yeah, well, we'll wrap it up here. Um, I also have a bricks and pieces order from February, late February that was made that's uh, on its way. It should be here this week sometime, so there'll be a video for that. Uh, that order will also spawn a couple other videos because uh, there's some parts in there for a few projects I wanted to build and I've been waiting for those parts to come in. Um, so I might do a couple of videos about that. And I also just had a March 8th order from bricks and pieces get shipped. Uh, so that'll be in later next week. It's a smaller order compared to the bigger one that's coming from February 28th. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Um, so I, hopefully I'll have a little bit of content here and there in the next few weeks in order to, uh, to talk about these orders. Uh, let me know if the white table works, um, which you can't see because it's, I'm now sharing a screen. Um, let me know if the white table worked. Um, because uh, I think it looks a little better. I know that it was not necessarily 100% focus. This is just a webcam. It doesn't really have autofocus, I don't think. Um, we can test that quickly. It doesn't look like it's focusing automatically. I mean, you can read the non-English. Oh yeah, there is English in there. Um, anyway, uh, it doesn't autofocus because it is just a webcam and I wouldn't expect it to. But uh, anyway. Um, hopefully everything worked. I noticed that there's no audio. Oh yeah, there's the audio coming through. I see it now. Um, my audio meter was actually below the screen, so I know at least there's audio. So that's what happened last time, and there was 
audio at the end, so it was all good. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys later, and uh, keep building.